Hey Rose, it's Wednesday, September 3rd. So, I really like what you've been doing lately with the Why Is It Wednesdays videos. They are super fun and I've been learning a bunch from them. So, I thought I would get on board and make one myself by answering a question asked of us by a close friend and fellow YouTuber, Corolla T. Why do we get headaches? I want to preface by saying I am not a doctor. If you think there may be something wrong with you, do not take my advice here. Absolutely go and see your doctor. Okay, first off, headaches or cephalalgia is just an umbrella term meaning a pain anywhere in the head or neck. There are over 200 types of headaches brought on by even more causes, but I will try to explain some of the most common ones here. The brain cannot actually feel pain, as it doesn't have any nociceptors within it. There are, however, nine areas of the head that do hold nociceptors. They are the cranium, subcutaneous tissues, aka the deepest layers of the skin, arteries and veins, muscles, nerves, eyes, ears, sinuses, and mucous membranes. Headaches are classified into two different categories, primary and secondary. Primary headaches are recurring headaches that are not caused by disease or structural problems, and while still quite painful and disabling, are not dangerous. Secondary headaches are caused by disease or structural problems, such as infection, head injury, or tumors. They can be harmless or dangerous, depending on what is causing them. 90% of all headaches are primary headaches. They often start between the ages of 20 and 40, the most common being migraines, which can cause a pulsing pain, usually on just one side of the head, nausea, and a sensitivity to light and sound. They can last anywhere from a couple hours to several days. Cluster headaches last about 15 minutes to a couple hours with bursts of severe pain, usually around one eye. They often happen during the same time each day and can cause tearing, red eye, and nasal congestion. Primary cough headaches start immediately and last several minutes after coughing, sneezing, or doing any other activity that can increase pressure in the head. Primary sex headaches occur during sexual arousal and can become increasingly worse during orgasm. Sex headaches are treated by discontinuing sexual activity, which sounds like an absolutely horrible problem to have. A common type of secondary headache is meningitis, which is an inflammation of the meninges, which are the tissues between the the brain and the skull that protect the brain. Signs that you are having a secondary headache and therefore need to seek medical treatment include a new recurring headache after the age of 50, a very sudden onset headache which could be caused by something like brain hemorrhaging or an aneurysm, headaches increasing in frequency or severity which means that whatever is causing the headaches is getting worse, a headache with full body symptoms like fevers or rashes, a headache following a head injury, the inability to move a limb or a change in personality. If any of these things happen to you, get it checked out. Also, although cough headaches and sex headaches can be primary non-dangerous headaches, they can also be caused by a problem in the brain from increased blood pressure. So, if these are a new thing for you, get that checked out. We aren't really sure what causes headaches, but the most common theory is that it is due to a problem with the nerves in the brain. Our brains are powerhouses, accounting for 20% of our total energy consumption. There is a lot going on up there, and therefore a lot of potential for things to go wrong. When something does go wrong, it often triggers the pain receptors in that certain area of the head, which gives you a headache. But it turns out this could be a good thing. Headaches tend to stop you from whatever you're doing. They make you stop physical activity, lowering your heart rate and blood pressure. They make you slow your thinking so your brain has time to cool and relax, keeping you from doing anything that could further damage or stress your brain. So headaches might suck, but pushing your brain past its limits could suck a lot worse. Thanks Corolla for the question. If any of you ever have a question or anything you'd like to see us talk about in a video, let us know in the comments and Rose, we will see you on Friday. Friday.